I'm Phil Helmuth Jr. In our last lesson, we talked about how players can get into trouble by overvaluing the potential of suited connectors. Now we're going to talk about another hand that some of you like to overplay. Ace-King, baby. Ace-King really is a huge hand pre-flop. And while aces and kings are obviously way superior, it's debatable whether other top pairs, that is queens and jacks, are better or worse than ace-king. The way I look at it, ace-king's better than queens. Whichever side of that debate you're on, it's clear that ace-king is at least one of the top five starting hands. This means that you usually want to play ace-king very aggressively pre-flop. How to play it pre-flop depends mostly upon the depth of your stack and that of your opponent's stacks, the blinds, the annies, all that kind of stuff. If the stack sizes are such that you can get all in preflop with you being the player to make the final all in raise, this is typically going to be the best way to play your hand. Did you hear me? All I'm saying is if you can get the last bet in with ace king, usually the way I want you to play the hand. If your opponent's holding a smaller medium pair, you have every opportunity to make them fold and win a nice pot pre-flop. It's going to be tough for them to call. If they don't fold, you still have almost a 50% chance of winning what is now a very large pot. If your opponent is not holding a pair, then you could be a monster favorite. Maybe you're tied, but you could be a monster favorite if they have ace-queen and or ace-jack or king-queen, and you actually want them to call. If the stacks are too large for the hand to be played all in preflop as above, or the timing of the actions will mean that your opponent gets to be the all in raiser rather than you, then you need to play this hand to see the flop. Sometimes. But in this case, we'll go with this line. In this case, you're going to flop one pair or better only about one third of the time, and you're going to have to make a potentially difficult decision the other two thirds of the time. Whereas if you were the final aggressor pre-flop, and you only have one opponent, you're almost always going to want to make a continuation bet. See bet, baby, whether you hit the flop or not. After making this one almost obligatory bet, you will need to proceed by deciding how likely it is that you have the best hand and how best to get the most chips from your opponent when you do hit it. When you decide you probably don't have the best hand, you may decide to continue aggressively trying to buy the pot. But be careful. Ace-King is the first hand that most people put you on when you raise or re-raise pre-flop. So when you miss the board, they will often call you down with any hand that beats Ace-King. Against multiple opponents post-flop, you usually have to give it up when your Ace-King misses the flop. But not always. There are no absolutes in proper poker strategy, though a few things are pretty close.